And Sports Report brought to you by Buffalo Peak Golf Course. Take the Union Highway, go out through Union. Take a left, go up the hill. Beautiful 18-hole link style course. Dana and his team are doing a great job. The weather's starting to get nice. Go out there and check them out and meet me at the peak. Um, there's not a lot to talk about today, really. Um, it's it's like kind of that pause time. Baseball's over, softball's over, track's over. Um, we'll talk. I'll talk just a little bit about Shrine. July 27th, uh, I believe the kickoff is at 6 p.m. in Baker City, Oregon. And we'll be broadcasting that live right here on the EO Live Network. It's going to be cool. I mean, this is year four. This is year four. William, uh, gosh, I just had a brain fart. William McLaughlin will be on the play-by-play. -play. I'll be on the color, and we'll, we'll bring our whole team over there. And we've 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 killed it the last few years. I, I really like the product that we put out. Um, Everybody on the team does a great job at, you know, coming together and making that work for us and for them. And I think they've been pretty impressed with it, too. I don't think they've gotten the attention in the past that we give them or the exposure. And, and it's probably my favorite time of the year here. Well, I, I really like early fall football, but Shrine's probably my favorite time of the year for for sports it's it's a pretty cool week um andrew peasley is currently number four on the jets uh depth chart he's got Aaron, future hall of famer aaron Rodgers, um tyrod taylor and the fifth round pick from florida state uh jordan travis in front of him he's gonna get some time on the field in the preseason which is cool i mean that's that's all he could hope for right as an undrafted uh rookie you go into camp, hope, you know, hoping to make the roster, and which he did. He's number four on the depth chart, and now he just hopes he can move up because the Jets will probably only keep. They might keep three quarterbacks, so he's got to bump into those top, to that top three to stay on that team, which is going to be tough. That means he's going to have to beat out Jordan Travis from Florida State, who was, uh, you know, a power five quarterback in at FSU and, and a fifth round pick. We'll see. I, I'm pulling for him. It would be cool to see. It would be a great experience for him. The crazy thing is, is his teammate at Utah State, Jordan Love, was uh, Rodgers' backup at Green Bay yeah. before Rodgers uh, went to the Jets. So mm -hmm. Jordan Love, who's the quarterback for the Packers now, was Rodgers' backup. And now you see Peasley in the role of one of Rodgers' backup. Same thing as his teammate at Utah State. So they Peasley's got that connection too. Jordan Love... Starter in the NFL, one of his good friends, was in yeah. the quarterback room with him at Utah State. It's going to be – it's good. I, I like where he's sitting right now, and, I, and hopefully he can figure out a way to make this team. He's got the NFL body. He's 6'3", 220. You know what I mean? He's just – he's today typical quarterback, and he's got some wheels. He can move. He's very versatile in the pocket. He's really learned to have a good pocket presence and to stand tall in the pocket, which is huge in the NFL right now. The, the running game is kind of not as important in the NFL as it was in the 90s and in the early 2000s. It's more of a passing league now, and, and Peasley's got that in his uh, repertoire. So hopefully he can make a little splash in the spring and make a team. That would be cool. Cade's Courage. Let's talk about that again. I'm going to talk about that every morning until they stop this fundraiser. That QR code will take you directly to the GoFundMe for the family, the McKinley family. Their, their son, Cade, is a freshman at LeGrand High School. He's a three-sport athlete, and he is battling a type of Ewing sarcoma cancer. I think he's in round two of chemo right now. Um, if, if you have the means, scan that QR code, go to their GoFundMe, and you can also go to U.S. Bank. They have an account set up under Kate's courage and you can donate there if you don't want to do GoFundMe. It's absolutely awesome. Uh, yeah, it's one of those things where if, if you can help them, do it. Um, last thing to talk about today is, uh, um, well, graduation for LeGrand is this weekend on Saturday. Yep. And, and you're going to see uh, a bunch of athletes, you know, that, that have been on this show. One thing I asked, and one of them came in yesterday, is any of the, any of the local athletes that have been on my show or that have done an interview or whatever, send me a, a graduation announcement, and I'll put it on the wall in the studio. I have quite a few of them in there. I got one yesterday from uh, Mason Wolcott. It's, it's just a cool thing, and it kind of reminds me of the people that I've uh, interviewed over the, you know, the last five, 
Five years. Yeah. You know, this is your, yeah, it is five years. That's wow. crazy, man. Because I was looking at it, we, we, the, the first class that's on my wall is the class of 2020. Huh. So this wow. is 2024. Wow. And Sports Report brought to you by Buffalo Peak. Meet me at the peak.